even Clay Helton, you know, just learning how, you know, after he took over the program and the way that he done did things, you know, it was a great learning experience that I had under underneath all those coaches. You aspire to be a coordinator someday or head coach? Absolutely. Head Absolutely. Coach. Yeah, coordinator and head coach. Co coordinator is the next step. Um, so that's what I say. Like, I'm, I'm, I, I'm, 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 I want to learn, you know, and I feel like I got a lot to a value to add also. Um, but, um, you know, getting out here and then playing a different or, you know, defending a different style of football where there's a, a lot of spread in the Pac-12 and then uh, there's some spread here too, but just playing a different brand of football and then learning under Todd Grantham, it's going to be a great experience for me, you know, just to learn, you know, different ways of teaching and coaching and different concepts. And, you know, the only thing that really changes is the terminology. You watching Deshaun Watson in the video again? No, I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> I have not. Have you looked at film yet of the guys you have come back? Or I'm, I'm assuming you said you, know, you, you talked to Coach Grantham about them, but have you started watching anything yet? And, and have you met most of them? I met Wiggins. I met Washington. And um, no, I have not watched film in detail just yet. You know, so just got here late last night on a delayed flight from Vegas. I didn't gamble, I promise. <laughs> but uh, no, yeah, um, I'm going to get into that. You know, I think the first order of business right now is to get into some homes and recruit and make sure that we, uh, we you know, we could sign the best class that we can have, you know, on signing day. And then after that, we'll get into football and then, you know, talk about spring ball. And then I'll start looking at the talent. And then, you know, as Coach, coach sees fit, then that's when we'll, we'll start, to, you know, just to dive more into that. Uh, you know, I think just getting to know people, you know, and and uh, the players, you know, getting the basic, uh, you know, layout of what's going on and kind of get caught up to, you know, what the program is and what the program is about. That's that's kind of the first thing. And I I love it. I just dive headfirst in, you know, confident in myself and, and really good with people and communicating um, and uh, earning the trust and also, you know, uh, earning the trust from, you know, everyone. So um, the process. You know, I, I mean, I kind of just put my head down and go. Right now, it's going to be recruiting, and then after that, just everything will just work its way out. Is there a checklist that you have that from previous experiences to say, you know, I'm not going to do it that this time, or no? Like I don't think so. Every place is different, so yeah, every place is different. The wife excited. Yeah, my wife is excited. You know, I admit, you know, I got a, I have a, a two and a half year old and a, and a seven month old, and it was tough taking my daughter to school the other morning. You know, because she knows and she's a uh, daddy airplane and, you know, all that stuff. So that was a little tough. But um, my wife is excited. She's been in contact with Coach Petrino's wife, um, Becky, and been talking about areas to live and been hearing about uh, Lake Lake Forest. Um, that's right, right? Lake Forest, okay. And uh, so she, she's been sending me a ton of emails um, to, like, you know, look at this place, look at this place, and then, and, and that's been fun. So I'm like, okay, I got, I got some more work to do. <laughs> but, um, yeah, she's excited. And, um, you know, like I said, we have, uh, you know, two beautiful daughters. And, um, you know, my family is very, very important to me. And, and, you know, I'm excited to get them out here. It'll make me a lot more comfortable when I have them <laughs> around. I'm 35. Did other schools try and get you to come join them? Yeah, I, I actually uh, interviewed at Arizona State, and then I was in. I was talking with some other programs also. Um, I think through uh, you know mutual friends um, and uh, you know professional you know uh, colleagues. Nobody in the back? Did you get to watch, uh, did you watch Louisville on TV for this year? This year? Good job, my memory. Um, I can't say that I have, not this year. can't remember. Sometimes I, I get too caught up in the job that I was doing at the time at SC, so, you know, I can't, I, can't, I don't remember catching Louisville. What is, I mean, do you have a sense of, like, how good you think the defense can be next year as far as the, the returning guys? <clears throat> yeah, I'll say that 
I believe they were the number one defense in the ACC, correct? And uh, a top 25 defense. So um, there's a lot of great things that everybody should be excited about. I'm excited about. And, and I've been just hearing a ton of great things about Todd Grantham. So that's what I do know, you know. And then you, you, can't, you can't achieve that success without having good players. So there's some good players here. And, you know, like I said, I'll get more in depth and learn more about these players um, in detail. But right now at this time, you know, I'm just, just kind of just taking it. It's, it's been a, a fast, what, 48 <laughs> hours. So um, just kind of just go with it like that. But, it, you know, it's going to be good. There's a lot of good players here. The school has done good in, in the ACC. And I know there's a lot of high expectations. But I'm used to that. You know, I come from a program where there are a lot of high expectations. And I'm ready for the job. When you, everybody talks about you being a great recruiter, what, what makes you um, I, I like to make sure that I build a bond and a trust, you know, and I make sure I get to know everyone, you know, in the family. Uh, and, you know, just connecting with the players, man, uh, making sure that they understand, you know, that I really care for them. Um, they'll look at my uh, track record and they'll understand that I'll develop them. And then I'll make sure I find out what it is that they need and they're looking for as they go through their process of, you know, evaluating the schools. The recruiting goes both ways. We're recruiting them, they're recruiting us, you know. So, um, like I said, this is a people business. You know, you have to get along and be able to make sure that you can deal with people um, and then, you know, be honest with them because ultimately they'll find out if you're not giving them the right information. And um, I'm an upfront guy, you know, integrity is a big thing, honest, loyal. Um, so those are, those are some of the, the values that I, you know, that I bring. And when I'm talking to anyone, you know, that they feel from me. Obviously, like you said, you feel like you can recruit anywhere. But can you get a West Coast kid to, to look at Louisville, you think? Yeah. What, what does that take? We'll find out. <laughs> Thank you.